do see a lot of these patients getting repeat rituximab desensitization for oncologic diagnoses. And by being able to reduce our reaction rate, obviously we make it safer for them, and which is important because they're going to be getting these routinely and repetitively. Um, so based on this work, we've really changed how we do these rituximab desensitizations by, again, by just by slowing down those last couple steps of the desensitization and have really improved our safety. And we're continuing to do that based on these results. When it comes to the oncologic patients who get the routine and repetitive doses of rituximab for different reasons, we do see a certain rate of infusion reaction, whether that be what some people will, re will refer to as the cytokine storm or the tumor burden types of reactions or actually IgE-mediated reactions, although to be completely honest, it's hard to tell the difference. But what's interesting is that when we look at the other groups of patients who are receiving rituximab routinely and repetitively, you know, it, there are a lot of patients with rheumatological diseases receiving rituximab, as we all know, and we just don't see the same problem. Now, is that just because that it ha rituximab hasn't been used in rheumatic diseases for long enough for us to get these patients that have seen rituximab maybe two years ago and now are going for repeat doses, or is it because there's something really specifically different about the types of diseases and maybe even rituximab's activity in those diseases? That's up for debate. I think one thing that our group um, thinks about is just the fact that the number of cells that rituximab is targeting, you know, the tumor burden in um, oncologic diseases is obviously much higher than perhaps what you see in the rheumatologic diseases. So this is mainly a problem in drugs that have higher molecular weight or higher doses. Um, and so obviously we're concerned about um, whether or not other monoclonal antibodies could have the same um, sort of, of profile. We haven't seen enough patients um, undergoing monoclonal antibodies and who've had hypersensitivity reactions to those other monoclonals to really know whether or not it makes a difference. But it's something that we definitely are keeping in mind. Um, and then, of course, for all sorts of chemotherapeutics and drugs that, that do um, get infused via these desensitization regimens, I think this is something that we should all be thinking about is how fast we're actually infusing this drug and whether or not that's in line with the real safety of the drug. Thank you.